Hold on to your hats, people. It is the second most exciting feature in Adobe XD called Stacks. What do they do? Watch this. The name on the card needs to go below. Oh no, email needs to be the top. Watch this. Look at them shuffle. Okay, I can play around with the spacing of them all or just one. It gets better. Let's look at this. I've got these cards. I can go, look at this. I need to shuffle them because the client keeps changing their mind. Oh, look at that, even better. Let's do this menu up the top here. You need to be over here now. Actually the search, come on Dan, it needs to be over that right side. Look at them all shuffle, all automatic. It's one of those lovely magical tools in Adobe XD. Let's jump in and I'll show you how they work. All right, first of all, we need something to stack. You guys wait there. All right, you're back. I made some stuff. Um, so this is a form and um, you might have seen in the speed version, I made it with the repeat grid. Okay, so I could, because um, it's a lot of repeating. Um, to use stacks in this case, we're gonna ungroup it. Okay, uh, repeat grid was great for creating it, but for stacks, they can't be like that. Okay, or they can't be a repeat grid. So these are all units. That's just what repeat grid did for me. But if you're not, okay, they need to be in groups. That's what kind of the stacks know how to adjust. Can you see these? Not in groups. So what I wanna do is select this and group it. And grouping something is Command G or Control G. And this one here is a symbol as well, so it doesn't need to be grouped. You can see I reused it from my assets. I got to use my, um, uh, character styles, look at me, all fancy. So now what we need to do is just select them all. Okay, and over here we say you are a stack. Where is it? It won't be like that. <laughs> so these things need to be groups, but the whole thing needs to be a group as well, like one universal group. So individual groups, great. I'm gonna group it again. We'll use the long way. Okay, use this to group it. You can see my layers panel, there he is there. There's my group. I'll call it form, because I don't know, let's be fancy. Okay, got my form, now I can do a stack. Where is it? There it is there. So turn it on. It should default to the right one, whether it's a, a vertical stack or a horizontal stack. Okay, and ready? Let's click inside of it. And now watch, watch, watch. Look at that. Does name go first? Does another go first? Does this go first? Oh, so good. You can restack them. You can do them uh, horizontally as well, or I'll undo that. You can hold shift while you're dragging it and it will move it straight up and down. Okay, and look at that. You might decide that that goes first or this goes first. What goes first? Email, let's do that one, let's do that one. Uh, if you need to add another one, you need the, I don't know, the month, okay? You can just select one of them and go copy paste. And you got another one. And it, you can see it bumps it down, which is the really cool thing. Okay, so you might go like this, and you might say um, expiry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad a speller I am. I don't know, it just doesn't go in. Anyway, uh, you can see as well, any colons on all of these? Jeez, they need to be the same, Dan. Spelt correctly. <laughs> and yeah, so you copy and paste them, they add to them and push them out. You can delete one. You might decide that actually you've come back and I don't need this one anymore. So double click it to go inside, click on it, delete it. Oh, and they all move up and down. You can still work on them individually because these aren't uh, repeat grids anymore. So I can grab this one, double click it. So I've ended up clicking it once to select the whole stack, double clicking it to go inside this group. I wanna go inside the group again, double click again. You can do a little bit of that, that happens a bit. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna grab that unit, double click it to go inside, copy paste, oh, look at that. And what is it, uh, CVV, is it CVV? It's one of those. It's not that, is it? CVC, <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's how you make a stack, okay? You group the things you want to be uh, shuffleable, okay, and then the whole lot of it needs to be in a group. Then you just click on stack here. You can adjust the spacing. Watch this, you can click on it once, get the whole thing, double click on it, okay, and you'll hover between your groups. Look at that, they all come along. Okay, you can do them individually, 
like this, just by hovering above them. I'm going to undo. If you want to do them all together, you hold down something. I'm guessing Shift. I guess right. Yay. So you hold down Shift and they will all move. You might decide that, okay, that's perfect. That one there, that one there. Like I say, stacks, super handy. Another thing you can do is you can squeeze things in. So we've copied and pasted, right? If I want another one of these, I just select it, copy, paste. Okay, but let's say you go to the rectangle tool and you want to add something. I'm not sure what it is. Let's say it needs to be an upload image thing. I don't know. You're gonna see I'm just using my rectangle tool. If I just drag it out, it just kind of makes a little gap for itself. Okay, and I'm gonna making a rectangle in there for no reason. Same with the type tool. Grab the type tool and go, actually I want to put type in there. And now I can type. My type happens to be white. <laughs> Not useful, but you get the idea. They are pretty resilient. I'm going to undo to get rid of those. But there are times where actually you're like, actually, I don't want it to be a stack anymore. I want to move these up here because if I try and do it, it just goes, yoop, yoop. okay. So I'm going to undo that. You can unstack it by just turning this little tick off. So I've got it selected, turn this off. It's still in a group, which is fine. You can right click it and ungroup it. It's there somewhere if you need to. So it's all now little pieces, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a cool thing. It's I said resilient before, it's just really robust is probably the word I want. So it's a stack, I'm gonna unstack it. Nope, that's padding. <laughs> I've already unstacked it. Okay, I'm gonna go inside the group. Okay, I'm inside form and I'm going to move it over here because that's what I wanted. Okay, and then come out of it, select it again. Remember it has to be a group. I can just turn the stack back on and something magic happens. Okay, where it grouped this line. You see this one, the top, that one, that one, this one. So now I can kind of move through all of this. Just, yeah, I don't know, it is pretty cool. Somehow it knew it was on the same uh, horizontal plane. Okay, and it worked. Behold shift, to open them all up the same. You can type it in over here. So if you click in, uh, double click, and do you see the pink things? You can click on that little pink gap. You can see here, you can start messing around with it. Uh, the top and the bottom, if you want it to be all very exact, you know, say you're using an 8 pixel kind of grid or 16 pixels top and bottom or 8 at the top and 16 at the bottom, you can be very specific and actually tell it what to do. Last thing is, is over here, we've got our form group. Let's, let's name all of these. Okay, so um, this first one here, you can see it's called email. So double click the name and call it email. Remember, if you can't, if I go back out of this, <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Uh, click on this name, go Command 3 to see it all. Click on this. Okay, I've got the layer names. And the thing I wanted to show you was, uh, so I type in this one, email, then I'll type the next one. And you can double click on that one and type name. A little shortcut, that's not the word name. Uh, the shortcut is tab. So it's still flashing, tab down, so I don't have to take my hands off the keyboard. Is that a fun shortcut? It is for me anyway. Uh, that's the expiry and CVC or CVP, whatever it is. Uh, there you go, you can kind of tab down to rename things. Handy when you're about to hand your work over to somebody and you want it to look like you're not a crazy person with like a zillion unnamed layers like me. Group 32, <laughs> it's not a good sign. Uh, yeah, so that is the stacks. Actually, I wanna show you a couple of other examples. All right, here's this website here, and it's got a navigation on the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click both of these. I'm just holding shift, clicking the first one, and then the second one, I'm gonna group them, okay, so that these guys move together. And these last two are already grouped. Okay, so what I can do is I'm gonna say, I want shift U, 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 and U. You can become a stack. Okay, why is it not over here as a stack? You know the whole thing needs to be grouped. Command G or Control G, you say U. And you can see in this case, it just somehow XD is magic and it knows whether you want a horizontal or vertical stack. And you're like, cool. Then you can say U, oh, go into it, double click it, and say U, go there. You can see how handy it is for these types of things, these navigations, and you can say actually, this needs to be first, COVID info is gonna go there. Maybe the search bar goes here. Cool, huh? Um, let's do the same over here. Okay, so I've got this mobile events page, and I'm just gonna make sure that that, they don't have to be grouped, these two bits. You can to make things a little bit easier, they don't have to be. This thing here, I will, well, well let's see what the stacks do. Okay, let's see if how much, how clever it is, because it's quite complex, right? So I'm gonna grab all of this, 
don't need the top nav. Okay, and zoom out even more. Let's grab it all, let's do it. Okay, and let's say make it a stack. It won't be a stack until we group it. Okay, and then we say make it a stack and it assumed up and down, okay, all vertical. Okay, and let's give it a go. So double click it to go inside. You're gonna say you, okay, I can shift click both of these and say actually you go there. Oh, look at that. If you hold shift while you're dragging it, it'll go straight down. Look at that, all stacking above it. There you go. Let's try and get this one below this. Oh, it's too good. Good work, XD. This bottom chunk is a too much of a whole unit. Okay, so it's ending up underneath this. So the one thing I might have to do is this was a big unit group beforehand. Okay, I might have to separate that out before I do my stack. So give it a try. Throw the stack at it, see if it does what you want, and then undo it and maybe have to do some fancy grouping beforehand. And last one, a shotgun stack. You ready? I've got all these individual bits. Client's gonna make me move them. I'm gonna group them together, make it a stack, double click it and say, oh, that one's over there, that one's there, and that one has to go there. Oh, hold shift while you're dragging them, people. <laughs> Otherwise they end up in all sorts of places. Okay, and then look, out, click, stack off. Hands off, done. Well done, XD, that is so good. Love stacks. All right, that is it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.